Live. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So it's really hard not to just look at myself in the computer. So I'll try not to <clears throat> start off with the yawn. Maybe we'll be done by then. Some game thumbs up. Three people watching. What's up? Also, I want to point out my shirt, by the way, and my haircut. Two very important things. Just got my haircut, so it looks beautiful and not ratted out like it like the last couple times. <laughs> um, and so the shirt I got at SEMA, and I wanted to show you guys. So it was a 77 Celica GT lift back, and it was done up by uh, Swag Custom Rides. Um, those guys weren't there, but it's cool because they take people and teach them skills. And uh, anyway, you should check them out. I know they're on Instagram. Sometimes they comment on this stuff. Rarely anymore. But sometimes. Sorry, I'm kind of bouncing around here. Hey, off grid. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan is here. Excellent. Just going to read through. You drive a Celica? Cool. I just have a Corolla. Guess I'm not as cool. Um, yes, thanks. Oh, yeah, because see, my hair was like super long. And then I've been growing my bangs out for a couple of years. My bangs are to here. They're almost together. So by next year. It'll all be one length again. I almost cut bangs again, though. Um, my back is actually doing really frighteningly well. Like, I'm a little too excited about what my back's been doing. Uh, so I've been going crazy trying to get projects around the house done while I can. Uh, like yesterday, so I've been redoing the tables and chairs. New chairs. You guys have seen the chairs. But the table, I got the legs all done, and so I was staying the top. I stained the bottom of the, of the top. And then I flipped it over so if anything dripped, I could just wipe it and it would blend in. Anyway, so I stained it. They'll be gray. It's white legs. It'll be really cool. So I stained that yesterday and I'll start uh, polyurethaning it tomorrow. Yeah, it's all good. Happy Sunday to you, Corey. Um, so, uh, hey, Mike. When are you going to come back with more videos? I just posted a video on Sunday. So there's an edited video on Sunday that was just came out last week. So. And then, well, we'll see. Um, I'm actually going in how many weeks? Let me think. I think three weeks. Seems like it's only two. No. Wow. In two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will be um, driving cross country to Kentucky. <laughs> so a 24-hour drive time from here in Utah to Paducah, Kentucky, where I'm from. And I will be driving there with my three children because I'm insane um uh in my track and uh we're gonna we're gonna stop and say hey to hard knocks forge along the way but um <clears throat> we'll be driving um basically up to st louis and down to paducah and uh i'll be staying there for about two and a half weeks go down to nashville pick up my husband for about a week drop him back off um and then stay uh anyway the whole time i'll be in kentucky is about two and a half weeks and then drive back bring back the volkswagen bug so, um, you like my hair color? Did I paint it? No, this is just my natural hair color. I don't dye my hair. In fact, I have some gray hairs. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, but when it's just laying down like this, you can't see it. So, thank goodness. Let's keep that going. <laughs> hey, Bill. Okay, so first, um, we'll get into I like that everyone's like here and chatting. <sighs> Feeling good. I'm in a really good mood. Um, so, First of all, my dear friend at SNA Auto sent me a package. And Brian brought this by yesterday. I didn't know it was coming by until I got it. He took a picture of it and then didn't send it to me. <laughs> so <laughs> he was going to let me know when he forgot. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so this is from Corey. I did pre-open things because it's really hard. It's a pain to try and open things. Uh, and lots of times I'm holding something and I'm using one hand. It looks familiar. Look at his nice handwriting. Did you write this, Corey? Is this I'm looking at your like at your name over here in the chat like I'm looking at you. But is this actually your handwriting? Because it's really, really nice if it is. I like it. I think it is. Yeah, sweet. I like seeing men with good handwriting. I'm not gonna lie. Um, all right, and so in it, we have the shirt, nothing else, so I don't worry about. Anything else falling out? Yeah, this is a large. I, I think we had a conversation. SNA Auto. Uh, probably not stand up. Something. 
SNA Auto, Staten Island, New York. That's pretty sweet. I like it. So my husband's like, you get so much stuff. And if they're one sending you shirts, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. We're all cool. So thank you. I will add this to my shirt bank. <laughs> well, I found that almost all of my shirts are black or navy blue. Whoop, whoop. Yes, that's sweet. Thank you very much. That's uh, Gildan shirts, which is what I mine are. So good handwriting. Is, it's hot. <laughs> Noted. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So I used to be a huge flirt, if you can imagine. And, um, but I would, uh, anyway, with, there was just some instances with YouTubers and sending me stuff where I was joking about like love notes and that, you know, being put in, I was like, Oh, there's a little love note. And someone got really upset and said, my girlfriend did not think that was funny. And I'm all dude, she needs to chill out. I don't even know you. So that's all good. Um, <laughs> so snow crusher. Welcome. Um, let's see. On, on one of my legs. Um, that's how good my back's feeling that I can kind of sit. However, I'm just fidgety in a good mood. So, um, <clears throat> Now, I was thinking I had more mail than this, and I realized I did a mail call last month or so. <clears throat> Man, I'm parched. I don't have any drinks or anything here. Um, but uh, also, I'm curious what you guys thought of my last video, if you didn't give me some little feedback. The um, uh, blah, blah, blah. review, it's going to be a little on the brutal side. But I have so many good things to say about the product that there's things that drove me crazy. Um, South Main Auto is a good show. Yes, it is. Wait, where is Eric? Why are you talking to Eric? Oh. He's not here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's been a while since I've been happy and my back's been happy at the same time. So also, this is exciting. Did you get the chocolate out? Oh, I got a lot of it out, actually. I didn't have time. I ended up, so yesterday was free fishing day in uh, uh, in Utah, so you can fish without a license. So I took the kids fishing, and then I realized I forgot how to cast mine, because I have a thumb reel, and I, I bought all my stuff in Alaska when I was fishing for salmon. So I have to relearn how to fish. I was never, that's really where I did most of my fishing, so I need to relearn how to fish here. I want to hear my kids killing each other upstairs. Um, anyway, uh, screams, uh, uh, anyway, yeah, but I, I did, so I did a video yesterday where I was trying to get chocolate because my daughter wiped her hands on the roof. I don't know how she got chocolate all over her hands like that. It always goes in my mouth. I mean, maybe all over my mouth, my hands, but then I lick it because who wants to waste chocolate, but she just on the headliner. Not cool. Um. He's way better looking. <laughs> oh, carp fishing in the UK. My, um, I used to go crappie fishing with my granny, but not okay. Utah. You're from Orem? I know where Orem is. What? I went to UVSC, so there. So, where are you now, banana pancake? And thanks, I haven't seen your name on here before, so thanks. Open face spinning reel. Cool. Try top water bass fishing. I don't have anywhere here. That don't, there's not, I don't think there's bass in Utah, but I am going home. But I mostly do like catfishing. Not like, not catfishing, but fishing for catfish <laughs> in Kentucky. And I don't like noodle it with my arm. You know, I just, you know, dog food on the, or something on the catfish are so easy to catch anyway but now I, we had a good time so i just didn't get a chance to get back to it um and I, but if you guys actually watched the video thank you very much thumbs up any um so the last like six months there's been a significant drop in viewership uh and i or actually it was about the time sema hit um and i know i've been having a kind of hard time during that time period too but i'm not the only one a lot of my youtube friends they're like views dropped in like half and so, um, so anyway, the more you guys can interact with the videos would really help me out. I'd really appreciate it. Um, 
what procedure did you use to help my back? Okay, well, I got epidurals. Yeah, my phone's on. Hold on. I can hear my phone buzzing, but I don't know where to put it. It's probably just my husband upstairs going when we have one of my nail kids. Um, anyway, so I did that and I've just been taking it real easy. I had a list of, I have a friend who um, works, he's an athletic um, director, athletic sports medicine guy for at BYU for their track team here in Utah. And so we're all friends and he worked with the Olympic team and stuff. So I went and talked to him and he gave me a list of exercises to do. One second. Oh, I could only do. I, hold on. I'm doing a live video. What do you need? I'm, I'm doing a live video. What do you need? I'm doing a live video. What do you need? Oh, no, it's okay. Um, family life. Uh, anyway, so he gave me a list and I would do them and it didn't hurt. He's like, let pain be your guide. And so I would do these exercises and it hurt. But the next day I thought I was going to die. It just hurt real bit. Like just, so I'd been numb. So my super low back was just, it wasn't sharp pains, but it was like throbbing dull pain, like really bad. So I talked with one of my friends who's a, um, physical therapist and she's like, and don't do any of them if it hurts. She's like, it shouldn't hurt like that. Like you're, I mean, we're doing like, we're talking about like doing push ups with your hips not leaving the ground, kind of like just stretching your back. And it was just killing me. So I just been very, very careful in what I've been doing. And then I make sure I try to stretch a lot as I stretch my back popping. So that's what I've done. Um, and so I'm going to move into doing yoga and stuff like that. Um, cause I want that to get back in, but we'll see. It, it was supposedly very extremely herniated to the left. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't seen it cause I'm on time to go to my chiropractor. So, but that's what I've been doing is just taking it and being very, very careful. And if anything seemed like it might be too much, like an effort to lift, uh, I'd get someone else to help with it or to do it. So, oh, let's see. All right. Banana Pancake says, I do mechanics and other stuff here in Linden. If it's helped me diagnose an igniter problem with a foreigner. Sweet. I know where Linden is as well. In fact, I'd go there frequently. Um, uh, let's see. Snow Crusher, best channel catfishing in North America. Half mile from your house. Cool. Um, I think that there's a pond on the backside of my parents' property that stocked. So I can go fishing. And my cousin, it was some other random dude that owned the house there. But then my cousin, this is like third cousin, moved in. I haven't talked to him in 20 years and more, 30 years probably. But I'm sure he would be cool if I said, hey, can I come fish, catch fish? But then I have to clean it. I don't, I don't like cleaning fish. Um, <laughs> so yeah, cool. You're finally getting better. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. Yeah, banana pancake. That's cool. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I do have a sister that lives in Pleasant Grove, so super close to, you know. Well, good. Okay, so now this thing, I got to watch my back when I pick it up because I'm just going to lean over. Which is the best. Oh, also, another reason I feel so good is I have lost 14 pounds. So I was getting to where my stomach was starting to show on when I wear t-shirts. It was just like pressing forward. I'm going to put the kibosh on. I've been wanting to lose weight for a while. I still haven't lost all my baby weight from the last baby. So, so I lost it. Anyway, this last package came, and I was really confused because it, it came to my house. But um, the packing list had my Cedar Valley, so because I didn't remember ordering anything, I'm ordering a lot of stuff trying to get ready for this drive. Um, but my kids keep trying to take this. But then I remembered, if you didn't know, this is exciting. I'm super excited about this. Um, <laughs> is that I won some tools on Instagram? This is the second time. The first time 
Oh, here I go. I'm going to set this right down so I can pick something up. So the first time I won these SA gear wrench set, which is fantastic, but not super helpful for me because um, the only thing I really use SAE on is, uh, well, lawnmowers, um, but not this big. And then um, the Chevy truck. And there's an update on the Chevy truck. I should probably release it in a separate video, but I will say that the Chevy truck is going um, back next door because my neighbor, so there's a husband and wife from next door and it was her father's truck and her brother decided he wants to get him. He wants to restore it. All of a sudden he's interested. So, and then I'm bringing back the Volkswagen anyway. So it's going, but I've learned a lot of really cool stuff on it and I've enjoyed what I've gotten to do with it. It's just, I kept waiting for parts and they weren't giving me parts because this brother was buying parts and keeping them and not sending them. And so it was a whole thing. So it was kind of annoying. Um, well, if I could afford, I would send you these spanners, but uh, they're, they're standard, they're not metric. So, which isn't the standard anymore, is it? But it's okay. I'm, I'm just going to hold on to them. They'll just stay in the package. You know, maybe one of my friends will have, need a wedding gift. <laughs> but I got one of those from Fasteners Las Vegas. And I was like, dude, when I come down for, to SEMA, I'm going to visit you guys. And they're like, yeah, they like, they, said they really like my comments. I was always, I always comment on stuff. I'm really kind of a brat. So, but anyway, so I won what's in this box. And we're coming back around to buy Vim tools, or I don't know if it's Vim or VIM. But um, <laughs> uh, anyway, this is heavy. That's a little dramatic, wasn't it? Um, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I might have to skip it. I'm doing a video. Nope. No. Um, and so I got, I might have to go grab a, a drink. I Torx set. Can you see there's a lot of glare and there's a window. Oh, look, there's infinity. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> a shiny object. So this Torx set is heavy. It's way bigger. So I have the OTC set and I will do a video comparing the two because I bought the OTC a long time ago because I thought I would use it a ton. Honestly, I don't use the Torx set a lot because I have the Torx screwdrivers and I really just use that mostly. But I'm excited about this. So this is scooch up. What's up, guys? Um, so we have the Torx, the uh, standard Torx, the temper-proof Torx, and the Torx sockets. And then, I'm trying to get the glares down, we have the Torx Plus, Torx Plus 5-point, and then the Torx Plus sockets. So my other ones, I don't think it has any of these. I think it just has this side. So my other box is about half the size of this. It's way lighter. Um, so <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I'm happy that's why I'm smiling. Um, I'm excited you guys are commenting too as well. <laughs> this is heavy. Um, anyway, so I haven't opened it yet. I'm really excited. I'm going to do a side by side and I'm going to open it when I do that video. I've got to figure, I've got to get Brian from Brian's Mobile One, who's always doing me favors, and I'm always doing him favors. I picked up a 10-foot box from an, a Nissan dealership for him and took it out to him <coughs> to his new house, as he used to live in the neighborhood. Uh, that's why we know each other. And uh, But um, so there's a mutual. I was just like, let me just take it to you. I will just bring it out because I had to like... I have a Tundra and the back window rolls down, which is fantastic because you can shove stuff that is too long for your bed because it's it's a crew max. And so it has a five and a half foot bed, which is way tiny. I wish I had a full size bed. I just want to just take up the whole road. Um, I totally do. They, they would ignore it anyway. Um, <coughs> but um, anyway, I can't talk. Um, so we're doing feathers, but I need him to help me figure out how to hang um, a tripod, like how he has done, so I can film on the, you know, from above instead of like at an angle, just having which oh, a tripod really tall. But I'll do a side by side with my awesome Vim tools 
um, a master set torques. Elite series. I'm excited. So, and it was funny because they were like, well, we need your, we, do you have another address? Because I gave them my P.O. box. And uh, they're like, uh, do you have another address? I'm like, you just want to know where I live. <laughs> and they responded with a laughing emoji. So I'm like, you guys, all right, cool. So, oh, hey, Brian, with How To Automotive, what's up? Um, just showing off my, my, my torque, master torque set from the tools that I got. And I'll do a side by side with my OTC, whatever I purchased long, long, long time ago. And have not used a whole lot. The more, I, you know, I had a friend who was like obsessed with Volkswagens. Um, I mean, I still do, Charles Sambo again, but another friend back in the day. And um, he uh, would come and borrow some odd size every once in a while. I'm like, okay, if you borrow it twice, you should probably just buy it. So I think he ended up buying it. I didn't mind loaning it to him, but I don't really loan out tools. So <clears throat> I'm excited about them. I would like to try out more of their tools. So, but I'm super, super excited about this and I want it. <laughs> I like winning stuff too. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just bouncing around today. Um, do I have a magnetic mount for my camera? I do not. So, um, but I would love to have one. That sounds cool. That could be useful in many aspects. <laughs> like went sliding down the car. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if I put an on-air sign on the door, they would just ignore it. Just like Brian's Mobile One, we'd have this big sign saying, Filming, do not disturb. And everyone would come knocking in the middle of filming. I'm a lot. Now, there is one other thing that came today, actually. Winning is fantastic. Winning! Hashtag winning. Thanks, Charlie Sheen, for being a nut job so I have funny things to talk about. So this is just something I wanted to show you this. Um, I ordered, so I'm driving cross country with three kids by myself. <laughs> and so I ordered these uh, DVD players that I, and I have um, somewhere so these are um headrest um video player holders anyway so i have two of them i'm gonna do an actual video i had to figure out if i can film with it uh with my webcam but i'm going to uh do a thing on it because they came out they were really nice so like so far i haven't started one yet but the packaging was incredible so i think they <clears throat> it's not like it um you know it's not a knockoff brand so but i was saying yeah it's ape man and i was like that's kind of weird ape man like i'm gonna come up with a better name but my husband's like you know it is hard now because everyone's making stuff and i'm like oh that's a good point so but that's uh that's what i got <laughs> yay jazz hands <laughs> So, and I'm in a, an usually really good mood today. So, um, my fresh haircut going on. The girl even curled it, like the style where it's like straight on man's but curled and it didn't really suit me at all. But yeah, but it's good stuff. Um, uh, I'm actually, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do a video on these, um, an unboxing on these uh, players, which I know it's not like automotive thing, but. It's what I wanted to see when I was ordering it, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, and here I have, I'm planning out my trip to, well, this this page is my trip to Kentucky. Like I said, I'm going to stop and uh, have lunch with Hard Knocks Forge. So there's day two, one and two on the way out. We're going to book it. And then three days on the way back. So on the way back, we'll be stopping in Topeka and then Denver. And then, because I'm pulling a trailer, I'm not going to go through the pass of Denver because I'm not insane. And I don't feel that confident in my skills. I always feel like I go way too fast down there anyway. So uh, I'll go up Cheyenne and come around <clears throat> to Salt Lake, Heber, whatever. Um, so, yeah. So how far is this trip going on? It is, I think it's, it's 1,800 miles. 
1,600 miles, something like that. It's 24 hours of drive time. That's what it is, both ways. Um, but my, uh, I'm so sorry, my sister, whom I think you guys would like, she's a super tomboy. She's fun, but she's a lot, she's a lot older than, than me. But, um, and she doesn't, she's not uh, in the least bit girly. Like she would never wear, you would have to like hold her down to get a skirt on her. <laughs> But, um, but she's very mechanically inclined. She'd make a great mechanic. She works on stuff all the time. But um, uh, she's just cool, and she's going to drive back with me, but she's driving her own car. We're in a caravan back together, and uh, so I have someone to help out at bathroom stops. It'll be awesome. I'm excited. So, um, all right, I missed some comments here. <laughs> but yeah, it's a ridiculously long trip. Now my eyes are watering because I'm yawning. Sorry. <laughs> I really hate yawning on these. If I don't talk to people, then I, don't, then I yawn once I actually start talking. I got the... Oh, you got to meet her. No, I'm like, meat? Like food? Yeah, no, I saw a video and I was like, oh, it's my friends. So I saw you and uh, Charles playing foosball. I'm like, I want to be there. I'm like, oh, why is it all my friends are there and I'm not there? <laughs> That's how I feel about any sort of YouTube get together where I know people. I'm like, oh, I should be there. Like um, uh, Chris Fix and Matt Moran Motoring and Eric the Car Guy and oh, so sorry, Engineering Explained, Jason. They all met together. I think someone else too. Oh, Charles, humble mechanic. They all met together in like Cincinnati. And I'm like, oh, they just put it off a little bit. I could have been there too. <laughs> Would have been awesome. Um, that's going to be horrific. Oh my dream. <laughs> yeah, but I've got two DVD players. And I have Chronicles of Narnia on CD. And so that will be fun. We'll listen to that. The younger ones will hate it. But the older ones will love it. So I will be set with diet and caffeinated drinks and some five hour energies. Scotty Gilmer. Oh my gosh. No, I never want to meet Scotty Gilmer. Oh, I really hate his videos so much. They used to not be so bad. I think it's now that his son's gotten involved that I really hate them. Um, I mean, they were still kind of mildly annoying, but it, at least it was something catchy and, you know, but Hey, he has what 4 million subscribers and makes millions of dollars a year. I, good for him. You know, if people want to watch that, that's apparently not very many people <laughs> watch me. So, oh, by the way, I mean, close to 5,000. And when I do 5,000, there'd be some sort of giveaway or something exciting. Um, you love Scotty Kilmer? Okay. Well, I won't back on him. I don't know him personally. So, Whew. excuse me. Goodness. Um, no, they retracted the message. Hmm, maybe not so much. Um, but yeah, I'm getting snacks from a trip. My favorite, my go-to for the trip, aside from just caffeine, which if I could take too much, I'll start shaking because I don't um, need to drink it all the time. I have to eat. Hey, Dan. Welcome. Uh, I just put your sticker on my toolbox. Um, uh, anyway, so my go-to snack for a drive is uh, toffee. You get the, what brand is it? They make caramel corn and they make coffee or toffee corn. We both have peanuts. It's a fiddle faddle. So I just, or whatever similar brand. So I go buy that from Walmart, $2 a box. And that's what I chomp on. The thing is, I just lost 15 pounds, almost 15 pounds. Oh, I keep trying to add a pound. I just lost 14 pounds. And I'm afraid I'm going to gain it all back just on the drive. <laughs> because I tend to, I like to eat when I drive long distances. So. Uh, so I'm worried about that, but seeing as I'll be home for about two and a half weeks, uh, cause Kentucky is always home to me. Um, then I, I was like, I just fast the day I get back for most of the day. I'm not sure you know, use some of that or burn some of that off or something. We'll see. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't want to make this go super long cause only a few people are actually going to watch it. Um, so I should probably uh, end the same thing, Stan, for 
pop it in and say, hey. Um, I've had people tell me I should take the southern route down through like Texas and Arizona and stuff on the way back, but that's just, that's not happening. I don't have that kind of gas money. I don't have gas money to go out, honestly. <laughs> YouTube is not paying out lately. So, uh, oh, oh, Gillen's just hanging out in the back. Thanks for finally saying hi. Yeah, I like, see, I feel like you guys are all my friends, so. <clears throat> oh, also, by the way, this, I just saw it in the, so if you look here, I got the crap burned out of me here, and then there's a line here, and then right there, that's from my, um, my Harbor Freight compressor. I just bumped it just barely, and the just skin just melted right off. It was really, because it had to, like, charge up all the way, so it was really hot. And I just bumped it for like just a second. I didn't like rest and ah, you know, I just bump and skin came melted right off. So that's those little burn marks there. So I caught myself on a gate there. I'm just falling apart here. <laughs> so um, I should be there. Oh, also the things I should be at. Yeah, it's just this whole um, Milwaukee thing was really cool to see there. So I think the thing I'm most excited about is the uh, torque wrench. I would love to have that. I'm just saying. No lucky in case you're watching. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I would, that would be cool. Um, and, uh, uh, but it, it looked like a, everyone was having a good time. And there are people I want to meet. Like I want to meet Flat Rate Master. I haven't met him. Um, is that Mike? Yeah, Mike. Almost, almost everyone has the same name. There's always a Brian, a Mike, a Matt. Uh, and then, and, and then Eric, so <laughs> those are the, the four most common YouTube mechanic names. <laughs> so hashtag life is a mechanic. Yeah, I got, I got really hashed, but so one thing also I've been doing with my back is not working on cars. Like I will not lean over a car for anything. I'm like, nope. <laughs> so, cause leaning forward is what kind of upsets it. So, but, um, I'm going to lay on my back and work on a car, but I won't lean over. Push comes to shove. My buddy Brian has uh, one of those above the the over engine do um, dollies. What are they called? Creepers. And so if I really need to do something, I could just use that only on my stomach. But anyway, you have a lot of stories about flat rate master. Yeah. You know, next, um, so I'm really hoping SEMA works out this year. I'm kind of not sure. But uh, I don't know if you saw that. So SEMA sent out this email and it said, anyone with a media badge discussing business will be kicked out. And I was like, that's not kind of what you do to discuss business. But uh, I didn't know what all that pertained to. Um, but it was uh, it was really interesting. Um, so I'm like afraid to get a top creeper. There you go. Um, I'm really interested. I just don't want to get kicked out. But it's more that I can't afford a room. And someone said, well, why don't you split a room with someone? I was like, do you realize everyone I know that goes SEMA minus one person is a man. I'm not sharing room. <laughs> I'm, I'm married. Yeah, we're all adults. But still, there's just some lines when you're married. Dude. It's better not to cross and sharing room with another man. Is, but the man other than my husband is one of those lines that. He said he would not. He would like to not have crossed, and I said that's fine. So, you're funny. Wait, okay. You saw that flat rate master got up to the violin player. What? What are you talking about? Oh man, I'm gonna have to. Oh, the die grinder is the cool one. Well, that would be handy. So, yeah, that, that torque wrench is, was I, I was excited about personally, but, but I didn't get to see everything. So I, I am really excited about my little tiny ratchet, Milwaukee ratchet that I have. So, you know, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Like, and that was a hand-me-down. Thank you very much. Brian, Brian's mobile one for giving that to me. He got anyone who's going to give it, a, give it away. Uh, but he knew I could really use one. I hate doing everything just by 
just sitting there all day ratcheting. So, you have pictures and videos? Send them way away, my friend. A D6 spanky at Gmail. <laughs> the ventilator was used to reciprocal saw to play. Oh, what? That's crazy. My reciprocal saw, reciprocating saw just died on me yesterday. Someone said take it back. I think it's maybe a lifetime warranty. It's just part failed on it. Did a video on it yesterday. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Or just play it in the background. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good job. Thanks. Whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I just, it was just one of those things that's, you know, like SEMA in the past where I just felt like I knew everyone there and I wanted to be there and hang out with everyone. And then like when you guys had the um, training in Jersey, I was like, oh, I want to be there. I just don't have money for that kind of stuff. I was like, you need to pay for training. But well, if no money's coming in, then I can't pay for training. So. Oh, he attached the violin stick to it. Oh, okay. In my mind, he was using the backside of the blade. Like had a blade turned around. But I would, that would destroy it. But okay. But that's cool. You're going to the pub. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Take care. Uh, all right. Well, it has been 36 minutes, 36 and a half. So we should probably wrap this up. But thanks, guys, for watching. If you, I put out a couple live videos yesterday. That, I know. They're not all great. But they can't all be winners. Um, which is usually the case with my live videos. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, and I, someone's heart's broken. Aww. My sweet baby. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, so, but uh, feel free if anyone wants to send me something at PO Box 282, Cedar Valley, Utah, 84013. I'd be more than happy to get mail. Um, I'm going to take care of you. not break your heart. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, just read the comments here. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for being here and saying hey. And, uh, um, well, oh, I, I will do a few live updates on the drive and see if I've killed my children yet. Hopefully not. It's, I don't want to go to jail or kill my children. All right, see you guys.